Hi everyone, it's Hatsi and I'm back with a build challenge in The Sims 4. Today, we're going to be trying out something that I completely made up myself. I don't think there's anything like this. I don't know. Like, I honestly don't know. But I've seen these amazing Sims 4 challenges going around, so I thought, I want, I want my name to something. I want to say that I made a challenge. So, I came up with, at about 3 in the morning, a Sims 4 at night with no lights challenge. I thought that the name was ridiculously catchy and you know even though I've woken up now I'm still kind of digging it like I think it's, I think it's a really cool name so it's quite self-explanatory the idea is to build at night with no lights now doing the outside of the build wasn't actually that difficult because you kind of well you've got the other lights around to kind of I don't know guide you a little bit which is a bit annoying because I wish it was a lot darker than this but yeah, I purposefully picked building in Windenburg because I wanted to build like out in the countryside so there was no lights around us or anything because I wanted to mix up the colours as well like not go for something plain like actually do it but you, you can kind of see how it looks but the inside was actually the trickiest part because a lot of the items glitch out if there's not a light there so a lot of the items I was putting in were just black so that's when it got a bit tricky but it was just crazy annoying like it wasn't even that hard of a challenge it was just irritating because all I wanted to do was turn the lights on and then at the end when I did it I was like oh I'm so excited <laughs> so yeah it's gonna be good hopefully and my best friend Kayla she's also gonna be doing the challenge um yeah she told me because like we were coming up with ideas um together and she was like I might try that and I said well I'm doing it I mean I made it I'd be kind of flattered if you did my challenge so thank you um so yeah, I'll leave the links in the description for hers if you want to go and check out another very annoying build challenge below that you, you absolutely are welcome to. But of course, if you have any ideas of other things that you'd want me to try, then let me know. I'm just trying to, well, I'm trying to not follow the crowd and do like, you know, sort of jumping on all the challenges that other people have made. I'd rather just like try. It's very difficult to make something up once in a while. So this was my attempt at it yeah <laughs> okay i wrote down a few ridiculously wild ideas like i say wild like as wild as the sims 4 goes um but yeah this was all like 3 a.m the other night i just sat on my phone on my notes because i always type on my notes and i wrote down some really weird ideas so yeah you'll probably see some of those coming up i just had like a huge brainstorming session I'm like right this is what i'm doing this is the plan and i occasionally do that i occasionally get like really inspired like so early in the morning i don't know why it happens but if I'm ever like that, I've made this rule up to myself that no matter what I'm doing or what I want to do, I have to just stop and I have to just write down those ideas because it's really rare. Like, I'm going to say I probably have a mood like that every two to three weeks. And okay, I'm not trying to big up this idea and say like, this is inspired, like I'm amazing and <laughs> stuff like that. No, no, I'm just saying that I'm not usually in that mindset to make up brand new things so when I am I need to seize it I need to stop everything and I need to just do that so it used to really annoy James at first because um, he has to get up like really early to go to work and stuff and uh, like he's just kind of accepted you know after years um, that that's just me <laughs> like if I'm feeling inspired at 4am or 3am in the morning he just has to let me get on with it and that's that like <laughs> there is no there is no um arguments like nothing there's nothing he can do i just that's it it's just fact it's it's not you have to stop and you have to go to bed no 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 i, I don't stop <laughs> but yeah this house is actually really cute in fact this is the upsetting thing i think that it actually looks better at night so when i put the lights on at the end i was kind of happy because it was a relievement more than i think it's like oh yes the lights are on okay good but this was more like a uh Oh, damn, that's what I did. <laughs> kind of moment. So it's a bit weird. But it's actually rare because um, I didn't build this on stream. No, no, I didn't. I actually wanted to just do a quick build today because I had to get some stuff pre-recorded for the new release of Jungle Adventure. Um, and I can't really talk about it yet, but I'll be able to talk about it very soon. Um, but yeah, I've had to just kind of sit down for the day and just like pre-record a lot of stuff because well, I've got Kayla visiting in a few weeks anyway. Well, March the 7th, I don't even know when that is now. Oh, it's coming up, it's approaching. 
So yeah, I've got to make sure that I've got videos sorted. Not that this is a pre-recorded one, but basically, okay, I have this plan that what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start getting ahead of videos. If I can do like two or three a day for the next like week or two and then share one a day, if that makes sense, then I'm gonna be up to date and I'll have videos pre-recorded by the time that she gets her. Yeah. I feel like I'm moving my hand around a lot and that there's no need. <laughs> Cause all I'm doing is building the Sims. But I wanted to talk about it. An idea that I did have was to actually um, like live sort of play me doing it. But the reason I didn't want to do that is because I think I'd be too frustrated. I think that you're so used to Hatsy, you're not used to Hatsy. Um, and <laughs> you have no idea how stressed I get with these challenges. I felt myself getting pretty stressed when I did a 10 minute build challenge, uh, probably about a year ago now, oh my goodness, going back a long time. But yeah, I want to do more fun stuff like this. I also have another idea. I don't know how interesting this would be, but it's like, it's this challenge where, I think I, I, think I said I'd call it the Sims 4 Dangerous Challenge or something. Um, where basically the challenge would be to build the most dangerous looking house in The Sims but it wouldn't really be that dangerous, it would just look dangerous. So I might do that at some point. Um, yeah, you'll probably see a lot more of these coming up just every now and then. That didn't even make sense. I'm really tired. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I've been recording a lot today and it's been, it's been a real Sims day for me today. But let me know what you've been up to because that is always interesting to share your weekend with me. I didn't go to the gym today, haven't been for two days, um, but I'm going to be going tomorrow when I have a bit more time, I'm going to do a home workout tonight, not that that is even re <laughs> related to this video, <laughs> apologies. Um, okay, but on to the dining room, so this was actually a really cute room by the time I turn the lights on. Can you just imagine though, just being out in the countryside, just in the middle of Windenburg, how frightened would you feel? Be honest, because I'd feel very frightened being out in the country by myself. It's happened before. In fact, when I was younger, we used to live opposite, I say like opposite this house. I think we were like the closest to this house, but it was right on top of the hill and it had no lights at night. And um, it was just, yeah, like I just imagine living there just at night with no lights. <laughs> it's very frightening. Very, very frightening. I wouldn't like that. No, I um, I like being in a place that's quite well lit and being out in the country. I love being out in the country, but there's just something really creepy, isn't it, about being at night with no lights. Just, It's just a weird one. Um, but that's it. It's just a super frustrating challenge. I mean, you can try it if you want to. Yeah, I'd say like on the hardness scale, it's not super hard. It's just very annoying. And um, I wish it was darker as well. I wish it was a, like a way to make your game darker. Maybe I'll try and do that at some point. Because, okay, I have shaders on in my game. A lot of people ask me about the shaders and stuff. And maybe I'll do a separate video on it at some point. But it's it's a long one. It's like a long, complicated one. But that's why my game looks brighter and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, what I was thinking is maybe I could mess around with them. So you can have all these like really weird things. You can have like night vision and uh, you can blur it so you can have like a blurry game so i might do like blurred build or something like that we'll see we'll see how it goes but i'm just like pouring out all my ideas here <laughs> and this is when we turn the lights on how exciting is this this is the light reveal so you can see um i think i did a pretty good job at matching things not that it was that difficult because you can kind of see the colors and also i've been building for so long now that it wasn't really that much of a change but that's the end of the build. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see all future ones. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you on the next one.